What's up, Panther fans? You know, this is Panther Shore 89. And we we got a game coming up here that uh, is known as very winnable. As a, you should win that game. We got the New York football giants. Now, this ain't your daddy's Plexico Burris shooting themselves in the leg giants. This is a much shittier version. So you look at this Giants team. Yes, they're sitting one and zero, but that was a, a bit of a fluke win last week, um, beating the Titans. Which I don't think the Titans are going to be as good as they have been in previous years. But I watched the end of that game, and just uh, the Titans are always just incompetent at the end of games. They just seem to not know what they're doing. Uh, not even close to what the Denver Broncos did Monday night, though. Uh, Titans look like geniuses compared to that. But yeah, I mean, that game came down to a last second field goal, which, you know, Titans miss, whatever. Giants get, you know, come behind win. There's nothing on this team that scares me. Last year we went to New York and that looked like a winnable game. But again, we had Sammy Darnold playing. So nothing's winnable when you got him playing and, and we got our ass kicked. Um, comes to the Giants, the only concern is can we stop Barkley? That is the only question. Can we stop Saquon? That is it. Um, nobody's afraid of Danny Jones. There's no such thing as Danny Dimes. He's a bum. He's terrible. And the fact you guys are rolling him out again this year is just unbelievable to me. Um, this is a game where we just have to stop the run. Uh, can we stop the run? Probably not. Um, so one thing the offense just got to try to do is put up points. If we put up points, make them throw. That's going to be our best chance because if they start running the ball on us, I think Saquon had 166 yards last week. If they start running, it's going to be a long day. Uh, on our side of the ball, I mean, Caffrey's got to get going. He did absolutely nothing last week. He had 10 carries, I think, for like 20, 30 yards, which, you know, and I think he had like four receptions or something. So, I mean, I get they're trying not to hurt him again because um, he's been hurt the last two years and really hasn't done anything. And when he's on the field, we win games. That's that's simple as that. Um, our our winning percentage, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the official numbers are, but it feels like we win about 70% of games compared to when he's out, You, what, maybe 10, 20%. Uh, so that's going to be a big thing to look, look to. Uh, but the Giants, I mean, they're not a good team. They'll be last place in the NFC least. I mean, that's, well, yeah, I'd probably say they're going to be last place. And uh, I know I think there's a lot of Giant fans out there. It's uh, the delusional New York syndrome. I um, think they're going to be good every year, get talked about every year simple, simply because they are in New York. Uh, but don't be fooled. Uh, this team's still garbage. And uh, we'll, we'll come in and put a beat down on them. I think this is a game we can win like 27-14. Um, there's not a whole lot to fear on this Giants team. It just comes down to the simple fact of stop the fucking run. Like, I mean... Put as many guys as it takes in the box. Make Daniel Jones beat you because he can't. And you do though. You do that. It's it's gonna be a, an easy win, which we need because you start out 0 2. Um, chances of making the playoffs are gonna be pretty pretty low at that point. It gets drastically cut, and then you go to 0 to 3, and it's it's pretty much not happening. So um, yeah, I think look at this game. A couple keys. Don't turn the ball over. Don't give them life. Right. And uh, let's get McCaffrey involved a little more, uh, put us some points, stop the run, and, and we'll be good to go. Uh, but I think that's about all for this video. So thanks for watching. Go Panthers.